Okay, I'm here. I'm running really fucking late and I'm sorry. But we're here. My mom's like, oh, let's go to Sam's today. And I'm like, last night. And I was like, uh, okay. I said to Russell, I have a stream tomorrow. What time are you waking me up? Because I know I'm going to have to get up early. He goes, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I'm like, that's not helpful. So I set alarm for 1130. Still didn't see any sign of him. So I played snooze button tango until like 1230. And I'm like, where the fuck is he? Got up, went to go find him. He was in bed. And I'm like, hey, are we going to Sam's? He goes, I don't know. And he came out of the bedroom with me the back bedroom because he had to go to the bathroom and mom's like are we going to Sam's and we got out of here about one o'clock we just walked in the door like 15 minutes ago so <laughs> sorry running late as usual what can I say? Alright. We're here now. Hopefully we can finish this thing up quickly. We don't have that much left to do. My paint's glumpy because it's old. Still works though. Oh, okay, come here paintbrushes. Uh, what brush do we want to use today? I don't know who shall we use today. Uh, what about you? I mean, you'd be fine also, but mm, let's let's go with you. Okay, glue gun's heating up. Alright, so we need to paint these guys. I know I didn't uh, change the title to reflect that we were finishing, that we're done the, the needle felting part, but it's still part of the project. So. I'll tell ya. It was pretty heavy traffic coming home. Because we went to the sands that was further away. This is probably going to take a couple of passes here. This isn't going to be a one coat and done deal. Sorry, I'm rushing because I have like an hour to get this done. I'm hoping that coat number two will look a little less splotchy. It usually does. This paint's a little thin. So sometimes, you know, it can take a couple of coats to get the uh, splotchiness to even out. I 
normally, you know, I'm like, okay, that's fine. We have time for that. Didn't realize the blue gun was on high. We can put that down below. I don't need glue leaking out everywhere. Wait for us to get back to it. So definitely want to paint this first before you get anywhere near attaching it. Because you really don't want to uh, be getting paint anywhere near your finished product. Product, project, you know. Because if Hopefully you're not as klutzy as me, but, you know, anything can happen. It takes us, like, one slip of your hand to have everything go to hell. The back end's still a little tacky, but it's just about dry. So we'll work on getting coat one on here. Just so you guys can see how I'm going to be finishing these guys up. Because I felt bad that we didn't have a full, I still need to get the final photo posted on that other one, but I felt bad that we didn't actually do it together. That I didn't have it to put in that speed paint. Speed paint, speed felt, excuse me. Get this guy. Paint it up there on the end. Alright, I'm gonna leave you sitting right there. Grab this other one. Now, I didn't know how much paint I was gonna need here, so I just kinda slapped in a mountain down. I'll probably have to uh, add more. Don't forget to get your ends. We're going to get the back bar in a minute. What is that? I don't know what that is. That's something. So if we hadn't painted this or primed it, this might have looked like kind of a, like a wood stainy type of grain. The wood grain might have come through a little bit more. I mean, it's still kind of seeping through from our primer because I only did two coats of the primer. So again, sorry for me being super, super, super fucking late. Little tiny fly, get the fuck out of here. Look, little fly. Thank you. Shoe fly, don't bother me.
So yeah, we're a little splotchy going on, but that's okay. If it doesn't improve with coat two, I will grab a different brush that can hold a bit more paint and see if that helps with that. I'm also moving really quick on this first coat because I know we need a second one, so. Oh, oh geez. What the hell happened? No, 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 it still did. They did or you did? They did. I got it like that. Sorry, I asked husband to get me a drink since he was going there anyway. That sticky mess. Have to wash this plate again before we uh, paint next with our gouache project. If I was just recording them. I would just use the, the lid of the the paint box and call it a day, but because you know recordings I can pause and get up and walk away and go wash the thing and then come back, but that up. Okay, I'll let you chill out there. Okay. Now ordinarily I'd be like, well, you know, this is the back side. We don't really have to worry about painting the back side. But in this case, we kind of do because the back is going to overhang a little bit. We want to make sure that that is covered up. Or at least showing a little bit of love. a little bit. So again, I am moving super fucking fast on this first coat. So right now I'm just trying to get it covered. I just realized I am painting in a semi good shirt. I mean, it's still technically a good shirt, but Cal the Cat has put a couple of holes in it, so, that we've repaired because it was an expensive t-shirt. Never paid so much money for a shirt in my life that I remember. For a t-shirt, no less. I'm sure other people have and they don't blink an eye, but for me... It was kind of sticker shocking, but it's a color change shirt, so. I'll tell ya. Summer is starting off fast and furiously here. Feels like 88, or it's 88, it probably feels almost like 90. It was hot. 
in uh, Springdale. It felt a little bit hotter up there than it did at the house. And man, was it hot in Sam's. I don't know why. It wasn't too bad when we walked in. And when we got back to the refrigerated section, it was a little chilly. I was glad I had my long sleeve shirt on. But holy hell, the second we walked out of the refrigerated section, just felt like we were melting. And it was very distracting and hard to focus on getting with the rest of the stuff that we needed because my mom's like, oh, well, is there anything else you need? You know, tell me now, get it now while we're here. And I'm like, I don't fucking know. Like, I can't even think. She's like, we'll get some fruit. And I'm like, I don't see any fruit that I want. I got fruit. I got grapes. These were expensive enough. And she's like, get some more fruit. And I'm like, if I don't like the looks of it, I'm not going to get it. You know, you got to watch your prices and Sam's. Not everything is worth it. It's just not. Some shit is overpriced. Dramatically. Some stuff's a good deal. But you've gotta take the time to look at it. As it was, the grapes were kind of expensive, but... I also kind of wanted them, so... Okay, see, the streakiness is... doing a little bit better now that we've got our base coat on here and it's still getting a little streaky in places but much much better and we were originally looking at here Sam's was hopping. We, we pulled into the parking lot and Russell's like, oh, it's not that crowded. And I'm like, what? I was like, there's a lot of people here. And he goes, it's not that bad today. And I'm just like, uh-huh. Sure. I mean, checkout wasn't too bad, but their cafe was slamming. closer we got to the front of the store, the hotter it was getting, and I was like, oh my god, why? And my mom's like, pick out some candy. I'm like, I don't need any candy. She's like, pick something out. I want you to have candy. And I'm like, I don't really see any candy that I want that much of. I, I don't need it. So we finally settled on a bag of popcorn that I've really been wanting popcorn lately. I'd stopped eating it for a while because the shells get stuck in my teeth, but I really miss it. So I might risk it. Got a new brand of popcorn that was fairly inexpensive for the size of the bag. I thought. And, uh... She wouldn't stop about the candy, so I got some chocolate covered pretzels. I'm like, there she goes, no, get something else. I'm like, this is fine. Like, I know I don't eat the greatest, and I know I eat a lot of shit sometimes when, when I'm able to, but I am trying to watch what I'm eating. I know I probably have more sugar than I should. So 
Sorry, my drink is like all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, sticky. So our second coat is drying a little bit slower. That's okay, I got a handful of paint. Again, that's okay because the streakiness is filling in. And we're looking good. So tomorrow we will be streaming, unless I have a migraine. We will be streaming. We are planning on doing Diablo. Oh, fuck. I just fuck it up. No, we're, right. we're planning on doing D4 tomorrow. Um, providing the servers don't crash on us. And that it's not down for maintenance. Um, I'm not 100% sure <laughs> what time we'll be starting. Um, plan might be to start around my normal stream time. So maybe around 2-ish central um i don't have it on the calendar because it's a bonus stream i don't like scheduling bonus streams because then if something happens and i can't make it last minute or i'm late then uh i don't want people to be mad seems as though I was so late and nobody stopped in today. That's okay. Monday's a bit rough anyhow. People back at work for the work week and everything, so I get it. That's what VODs are for, right? I have this one spot here that's being a little bit stubborn. Well, maybe two spots, but that's probably going to have to dry a little bit more before I can even think about hitting that up. There's another coat. Some of my gloppies are getting in there, so I'm just trying to take a minute and pop them off if I see them. While I was trying to kind of run to catch up here, since we are a bit behind. This is like the most time consuming part of what today is going to be, is uh, getting caught back up here. So this side, is, or this coat, is taking a little bit longer to dry. Not that long, but you can definitely tell it's a little bit slower than the first one, and that's probably because we only had two coats of primer. So 
Um, it was still soaking into the wood a little bit. Not quite as bad as if we hadn't had any, though. So do keep that in mind. It's still pretty good. So that's a, that's a pretty good coat there. I mean, there's a little bit of splotchiness. We could probably do a third, but I think two is going to be okay. Oh, that is a little bit of a thin spot right there. So we'll just kind of hit that in there. getting paint all over the ever loving place making all kinds of a mess all right so we'll work on getting our other coat on the back here don't know if back's gonna need three coats I hope not Not anticipating it needing three coats, but I guess we'll see. How that all works out. We'll get this coat here. So this, in theory, should be the last coat on here. In theory. All right, let me flip this guy around. Oh yeah, this end needs a little bit more. Oh. Get that wiped into there. Okay, we'll let that one dry. Yeah, let me double check our ends here. Alright, that one's is good. Okay. Okay. So Get this last coat into here. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of thinking maybe we should have went with the green, but I think the green would have been too green. You know, it's hard to tell from like the little sample size until you get it like right up on the thing. I think purple would have definitely been too much. It would have been very, very purple. If I'd had the right tone of purple, maybe. But for some reason I couldn't find the tone in purple or shade in purple I thought I had. Maybe I used it all. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I saw it in the store and was like, eh, I don't think I'll need this color. Which could be definitely the case. Okay, so we'll let you chill out there. Okay. Let me rinse my brush. I really need to put some clean water in here. It's still our gouache water from the other night. Same, same water we rinsed the uh, the gesso brush in. I just haven't gotten around to uh, 
walking it. Where is my... There it is. It fell. Okay. Grab our handy dandy paint towel. Try that bad boy off. Back in the bucky. Okay. Put your lid back onto you. My fish is trying to. Oh no, he did actually pop it entirely off. He keeps getting behind the. I've got a little sponge filter in his tank. He likes to get behind the filter and like bump it off. It's only attached with suction cups. Okay, now. Here's the thing. Who's, who's the least amount of wit? Ah, what happened? I mean, we're good. Why do we have a spot? Where's my... Where did this come from? Is that like a white... Oh god. Why is there glitter on here? Son of a muffin? There's a white spot. I don't know where the white spot came from. There's definitely a white spot. Alright, let's try that again. You okay? Mm -hmm. Well, you were coughing. I thought I was going to come check on you. Were you able to eat, or do I need to make you no, something else? Good. Okay. Right. Fuzz in the eyeball. Don't recommend fuzz in the eyeball. Oh, there's my. Okay, I just found the pen that it was missing last night. Okay, so. Alright, I need that to dry. Okay, so, we have to figure out our placement here. And see where it's gonna sit. Now, I have to trim this up just a little bit because it's gonna have to overlap the top just a little but because of that I need to take that down just a skoshy skosh. Yeah, I'm just gonna trim that edge up. Okay. So same thing with my bottom edge. Just gonna take the tiniest bit off. Because we can still have to ha leave something to uh to put the glue on here. I feel like my scissors are curved. Like bent. When I'm looking at it, this side is like curved inward. 
and it's throwing me off, so I feel like, I don't know, I guess it's just an easy thing. Alright, does anybody else need a quick haircut? You could deal with a little bit there. Bottom, I think we're good. Okay, so. I have to figure out how much of an overlap we're going to do here. So I'm thinking is that about even? I think, honestly, we could have. Um, we could have trimmed that a little bit. That's going to be a little bit extra hanging off. A little bit more than we really need. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start with the bottom, right? I'm just going to put some hot glue on the felt carefully. And then I'm going to run carefully. Oh, shit. I took that too far down. I almost burned my arm. Were we supposed to have looked for puppy pads while we were there, or are we doing the other thing? Um, might be doing the other thing. I didn't think of it. I didn't either until you were just putting a pad down. But I also didn't grab the other stuff, like the cat food and cat litter. Mm. So, that was deliberate. We didn't have any space. Okay. Okay. So I did get a little extra glue bit there, but the good thing about hot glue is that we can look Marvin chillax my friend just let you know I'm gonna go visit Cal and lay down a bit um if you sleep now you'll never sleep later just so you well, know I know but you know what I can do about it alright where's my there it is okay I don't think we'll need that glue stick, but... Okay, so for this top edge... It's being a little bit tougher to squeeze, because I've got it on the lower Temp here. Oh, uh oh. Thought I broke it for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna gently flip that over there. So I'm gonna cut off. Oh, shit, that needed to be down just a little bit more. Okay gonna see oh geez that like solidified real damn quick okay all 
Okay, so note stealth. Probably should have had that on high temp. Alright, so anywhere that you feel like is a little loose, carefully add in a little bit more glue on your seam. Whatever you think you need it. Now, I tend to do tacky glue for this. It does take it a little bit longer to dry. Um, like maybe an hour or two to fully dry. But I tend to prefer that method. Hot glue makes me nervous. I've burnt myself a few times with it, so... I mean, nothing like a third degree or burn or anything. I've seen people really fucking working at the craft store. The one classroom coordinator really got herself good, and one of the flower arrangers did. Oh, that looks good! That looks pretty damn good. I think that was definitely the better color choice. Alright, so let's get our string. We're almost done. Well, I'll be done in time. Okay. So it worked out that I was late. Or else we would have been finishing early. Whoop! I lost my trash bag. I need to get another one. Alright, so where's the... That's not the end. Where's... Neither one of those is the end. Okay. Well... Oh, is that the end? There's the end. Alright, so this was from Dollar Tree. They had some jute. There's a little bit of a smell to it, but... So I want a little bit extra here, so we can do our tie off. All right. So I'm gonna wrap this around a couple of times. And then I'm gonna tie this off back here. And it does make a little bit of a bump out, but then if you do tacky glue, I would suggest doing this too. Um, you can do it with the hot glue too, as we're doing. Mr. Glue String. No, not out of here, so I'm gonna let that kind of hang out there for just a minute. Alright, that will help hold our knot into place. And keep that from fraying out. We have to figure out how long we want our hanger to be. That's not quite dry yet. Right, so we have to figure out how long we want our hanger to be. That's Probably. Pretty 
pretty good there. So we're gonna take our, we're still attached to the ball now. I haven't disassembled us here yet. One, two, three, four. So that was about five, three, four. Five. All right, now I do need to cut a bit of a tail here so that we can tie off my clumsy ass fingers. That didn't work. The way I wanted it to. Alright. It is jute, so it does fray a little bit. So, got that in place there. So, we're going to put some glue around the knot and on the back of the string just to kind of help keep that together. Do another snip there. I'm just going to put a little bit on the end of the knot to help keep that behaving. Really? Now, now you don't want to dry. Okay. Now you're taking forever to cool. I see how it is. Alright, so, do we have any loose ends that are going to bug it? Now, you've still got your ball here. I'm going to take a little bit of our glue gun and just kind of do a little dab of this around the end, just so it doesn't unfray or unravel. And like start to split apart since we've been cutting it and stuff. Since the rest of this is gonna go in storage until we need it again. All right, so there we are, you guys. A cute little guy. Got our little rope hanger here. So I can kind of get it in frame. It doesn't want to be. So that's that's it. We're done. We're done done. All right. I think the bars are somewhat straight. I don't think they're too crooked. Uh, is the placemat crooked? Eh, they're, they're pretty straight. They're straight for me, can I say. So yeah, no, I think that was a good color choice on that. It definitely makes our um, highlights on our bridge pop quite a bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that one came out. All things considered. Drop that. So yeah, we got another guy in the books. Um, so next week we'll start um, following along with episode seven sounds like a plan. Um, I've got a lot of fluff to refill this week and uh, need to refresh on episode 7 and take a look at our sketch and try to figure out what colors we need for that and pull them out. So we're, excuse me, all ready to go. But um, yeah, I think this one turned out pretty good. I love this twine so much more than the other one. Um, part of me kind of wants to pull the other one off of the other project and replace it. 
I don't know if I'm going to, but yeah. So that's a wrap on episode six. It only took us 17 sessions. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, we might start to try to add in some extra here and there, maybe. We'll see. So if you missed any of this project, don't forget to go check out the playlist on um, the YouTube channel. It's going to be under Nisi Felts for all of our or Nisi Needle Felts. It's um, going to be all on the same playlist. And I will work on getting this speed felt edited for those that don't want to sit through every episode. Um, I try to, when we're done with the whole project, go back and um, cut down all of the live streams into one like two and a half hour video. It's the smallest I've been able to condense them down into and um, have the project start to finish in one in one go. So um, yeah, that's going to do it. You guys enjoy your week. Um, hopefully I'll see some of you for Diablo tomorrow. That would be awesome if I did. But I also understand if Diablo is not your thing, that's cool too. Um, if Diablo is not your thing, I don't know what we're doing on Thursday. Um, we'll probably be d doing Diablo at some point on Thursday too, but I might try to squeak in a Coral Island in the afternoon and then we might come back and do Diablo after dinner on Thursday. So until we meet again, you guys have a great week. Take care of yourselves and until next time. <laughs>